Hey guys, welcome to a video called the RPS3 Guide. So today we're going to be installing the RPS3 emulator. Okay, first go online, then go and search up 7-zip, and click the first thing, and then download whatever is applicable to you. So Windows is for us. So we're going to install Windows, and, and then we're going to install the 7-zip, and then open a new tab and then look up the RPS3 emulator download click the first link and then click on download for and it will automatically direct you to Windows or Linux or Mac OS download whatever is applicable to you and then once that done is done downloading we're gonna extract it to a, f a folder anywhere you, any of your liking and then well we're gonna we're gonna open RPS3 up, and then uh, it'll it'll ask it'll you, you have the main thing open. So, and then you go to on the to on the open another tab, and down and look for the PS3 firmware and click the link from PlayStation, and then you scroll down until you until you see update using com computer. Then you grab the file that then you download the file from PlayStation website. And then click, and then once the file is downloaded onto your computer, you click File, and then Install Firmware, and then locate the firmware file wherever you download it. And then let that do it, its thing, and then uh, once it will install, it will pop up with compiling PPU modules, which you let it do its thing, give it a few minutes, depending on how good your PC is, because this thing has a minimum requirement. So once it's done compiling PPU modules, you click refresh, and then uh, we have this thing called the XMB PS3 men menu or VCH.self, which is the main menu of the PS3. Okay, once you got that, if you have any game you dumped from your PS3 or got online, or however, you click file again, and then you put it you you add in add games or install games if you extra if you have it in folder form you just click file and add game and then if you have a PK, pkg form you do install packages you locate your packages and then you install them and then click refresh and then you have the P playstation 3 game in your list and it will show you everything. Your, it will show the icon, the name, the serial of it, the version of the game, what, where you, how you get it, PlayStation Move, mo Move, which is which is a mode of motion control, the supported resolutions, last play, time play, compatibility, and how much space it's using on the, the hard drive. Okay, the next op, the next thing you want to do, if you have, a, if you are using a controller, you click on pads, and then if you have a PS4 controller. Uh, click under the handler, select DualShock 4. If you have a PS3 controller, you select Dual DualShock 3. If you have a PS5, DualSense. Once you plug in the controller and then you and your computer makes a noise, you click refresh and then you will see your controller is connected. You click on save, and then go and then you can go to a game or you can go to man it, configuration, CPU, and then you can just change your settings however you like. Never, if you have a cr if you have a crappy CPU, don't enable CPU loop detection. As a, it, it says it improves performance, but uh, that's not true. And then you can change any everything else here how you like. GPU. One thing you never do is change default resolution. It's always 1280 by 720. You always do that. Uh, you only change the resolution select scale to 150, which is 1080p. 300% if you want 4K or 200 if you want uh, 1440p. You always select the you always want 60 FPS if and if not possible change it into 30. You can choose a GPU if you have multiple but choose your best P CPU and that's it. If you click go to emulator you can enable performance overlay and then you can show these so you can see the in-game frame rate and frame times and all that stuff, and that's it. You can start your game. You've installed with 
you select your game you installed so we're gonna do minecraft and it will work just fine and that'll be it for today guys all the download links will be in the description subscribe to my channel for more guides and uh, enjoy the two minute gameplay of minecraft i'm out